Hey y'all, welcome to Faithfully Bound. In this video, I would love to do a prayer journaling entry with you. I wanted to show you this Bible journaling entry. I did this on camera and then I accidentally erased the entire thing. So I was really disappointed but I wanna show it to you. So I used this from a magazine. It is from the Day Spring magazine. I cut it out and glued it to my tracing paper. And then I used washi tape to put this in the Bible and attach it like right within. Strip off the weight that slows us down, sin. We do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus. Jesus perfects our faith. Jesus endured the cross. Now he is seated in the place of honor beside God's throne. Jesus endured hostility and pain for our sins. Be changed and made new through Jesus. And this Bible journaling entry was concentrating on Hebrews 12, one through four. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a huge crowd of witnesses to the life of faith, let us strip off every weight that slows us down, especially the sin that so easily trips us up. And let us run with endurance the race that God has set before us. We do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. Because of joy awaiting him, he endured the cross. Disregarding its shame, now he is seated in the place of honor beside God's throne. Think of all the hostility he endured from sinful people. Then you won't become weary and give up. After all, you have not yet given your lives in your struggle against sin. With this Bible journaling entry, I am going to do a prayer journaling entry to go along with this. I am using my beautiful prayer journal. And now in this, I also want to use this same cross from the cover and I'm going to put it in my prayer journal. While I'm cutting this out and cutting it to fit within the journal, I would like to go ahead and read Hebrews 12, one through four again. And I'm going to continue after verse four. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a huge crowd of witnesses to the life of faith, let us strip off every weight that slows us down, especially the sin that so easily trips us up, and let us run with endurance the race that God has set before us. We do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith because of the joy awaiting him he endured the cross, disregarding its shame. Now he is seated in the place of honor beside God's throne. Think of all the hostility he endured from sinful people. Then you won't become weary and give up. After all, you have not yet given your lives in struggle against sin. And have you forgotten the encouraging words God spoke to you as his children? He said, my child, don't make light of the Lord's discipline and don't give up when he corrects you. For the Lord disciplines those he loves and he punishes each one he accepts as his child. As you endure this divine discipline, remember that God is treating you as his own children. Who ever heard of a child who is not disciplined by its father? If God doesn't discipline you as he does all of his children, it means that you are illegitimate and not really his children at all. Since we respect our earthly fathers who discipline us, 
Shouldn't we submit even to the discipline of the Father of our spirits and live forever? For our earthly fathers disciplined us for a few years, doing the best they knew how. But God's discipline is always good for us, so that we might share in His holiness. No discipline is enjoyable while it is happening. It's painful. But afterwards, there will be a peaceful harvest of right light for those who are trained in this way. So take a new grip with your tired hands and strengthen your weak knees. Mark out a straight path for your feet so that those who are weak and lame will not fall but become strong. We must keep our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. Every verse of scripture is so beautiful. And if we can just hang on Hebrews 12 verse 2 for just a moment, we do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. There are not even words. Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. Because of the joy awaiting him, he endured the cross, disregarding its shame. Now he is seated in the place of honor beside God's throne. The sacrifice is so beautiful. We know and try to understand. I know we can never fully understand while we are here on this earth. But just to think of someone loving us so much that he gives his only son to suffer and be the sacrifice for our sins. And Jesus, enduring this pain and suffering and shame of the cross, he endured hostility from sinful people. So we should not become weary and give up we have not given our lives for sin. Jesus gave his life for our sin. That is such an amazing gift. I cannot even wrap my mind and my emotions around this. I try and I fail and if I allow myself to just sit in this knowledge and read the word of Jesus suffering and the sacrifice because of the love that God had for us, it overtakes me. It does. It just completely overtakes me. I get so emotional and my heart hurts. But not only does it hurt and break, but it fills with joy and love for this amazing God that we have. If you don't know the love of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I beg you to reach out to somebody. Reach out to a friend or a family member that you know is Christian or find a local pastor. If you don't have anybody in your life to talk to, please reach out to somebody in this community or to myself and we will help you. 
I will help you as much as I possibly can. And if you don't have a church, I highly recommend looking for one. And it may take several tries before you find the one that fits you. But there is a church out there for you. And I want you to know that I love you. And I will do everything I can to help. Thank you guys so much for doing this prayer journaling entry with me. If you have anything you would like to add or any questions, please comment below. I would love to have an ongoing discussion with you. I love you guys. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. It really does help. I hope to see you next time. Bye y'all.